I'm trying to level up. I'm trying to level up and I'm come hang out with your girl. Come hang out with your girl. Notice I didn't put singing on my list for 2022. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Tuesday, January 4th. It is 2022. <laughs> Are you guys excited about the new year? I am super excited. Uh, you can tell, but I'm in a new location. We are currently on a little staycation. Let me show you the view outside real quickly. So this is such a cute little condo. We are directly across from the beach. Much, much needed. Okay, so like I said, we're currently on a staycation. And in today's video, what I would like to do is a productive day on vacation or staycation, whatever we're calling it. And I know when you're on vacation, you're supposed to relax, but you guys, trust me, I have been relaxing <laughs> a lot. Like, I have not been working out. I haven't been measuring my food. I haven't been doing any of those things. I was just kind of allowing myself, just whatever I felt I needed, I was giving that to myself. Sometimes you have to be really kind to yourself because you're a human being, you're not a machine. So take time for yourself, take the time for your family, um, allow yourself to heal, allow those around you to heal. Okay, so today will be a vlog style video and I thought today would be a great day to do it because one, um, our sons are back to school. Today was the first day that they're back in school from winter break. Two, our daughter is currently away. She's shadowing. She wants to be a physician's assistant or associate. They recently changed the term from physician assistant to physician associate. Um, so she's currently away doing shadowing hours and my husband is off. He's headed off to work. So it's just me. So I thought I thought today would be a great day for me to check in with you guys. Um, in today's video, what I would like to share with you are my 2022 goals. But before we start, I need to eat breakfast. I actually went to Publix to pick up food for myself just for today so that I can get back on track and get my eating back on track. Dude, I spent like $33 and I literally only bought food for me. That is insane for one day like that's insane um but i'll share with you what i got and then also i'll share with you guys my target haul um, i'll share with you guys my new planner like this is just going to be a jam-packed video because honestly i miss you guys i just want to catch you up on what's been going on but first i'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys what i got from publix and what i'll be eating today on my 100 pound weight loss journey here we go so as you can see i spent a total of 33 dollars and 23 cents that is insane um, for the first couple days that we were here, I actually meal prepped ahead of time. So that saved us some money for dinners. Like I meal prepped all of our dinner and I packed like lunches and different things for the kids. So let me take everything out and then I'll show. All right, so this is it. This is literally all that I bought. So we have half a dozen of eggs, salmon, some guacamole, rice cakes, some fruit, nuts, and spring mix salad so for breakfast i'm about to make myself some eggs two eggs and then i'll put it in between two rice cakes and i'll have some fruit to go with that and then for lunch i'll have two boiled eggs some salad and nuts and fruit and guac and then for dinner i will have the salmon salad and guac So I don't have like any Pam or butter or anything. So I'm really hoping that this is a true nonstick pan, but we are about to find out. Not too bad. Here is my breakfast, but before I have my breakfast, I need to make more coffee because I made coffee this morning for the family. But by the time I got back, mine was like so nasty and cold. These we brought with us.
Okay, so while the coffee is brewing, I would like to share with you guys what I picked up from Target yesterday. First, I picked up these post-it notes for my calendar. Um, also, I love these. They're the whiteout correction tapes. I'll link all of this down in the description bar below if you're interested. And I also picked up two large monthly calendars. These are so nice. So one of these is going to be like predominantly for my business, for um, mapping out video ideas, blog posts, Instagram stuff, all of that. The other it will probably be mostly for like workouts and everything, but we'll see. They're by Day Designer. Yeah, they're either $8.99 or $9.99. I can't remember which one, but totally worth it. Also, my 2022 planner, yay! So you guys probably saw me use my black one all the time. This is literally the same one by Smart Planner Pro. I'll link that down in the description below as well. So now my coffee should be this because I am ready to have breakfast. It's now 11.31, so this is going to be a chatty style vlog. So if you don't have time, I totally understand if you wanna come back to it a little bit later, totally understand that. Um, but I really do miss you guys. It's almost a week since I've uploaded. So when it comes to setting goals for the new year, I have goals for myself, I have goals for my family, I have goals for my business, um, and then I also, like my husband and I also have like our own personal goals, like for our relationship, um, which are, they're still a part of family goals, right? But we truly believe that like we have to be solid in order for everything else to work in a way and in a manner in which we want things to go with our family. Okay, so what I did, like I'm one of those people, I can talk about goals, daydream, do all of this stuff for a really long time. But my husband's not like that. It's more of like just like an action taker. Whereas with me, I take action as well, but I like to see what I'm working on. So first I sat down like with him and you know talked about like, hey, what is your vision? What do you see? What are some things that you're wanting and desiring for 2022? In the past, I would just come at him and be like, hey, what do you see? What are your plans for three years? What are your plans for five years? And we still joke about the fact that during our first year of like dating, not even marriage, during our first year of dating, I was like, I need you to get back with me and let me know what are your three-year goals, what are your five-year goals. I never got those goals back from him, <laughs> even to this day. So he, the way that I now communicate with him, I'm just throwing this out there in case some of you guys are planners like me and you have a hard time getting your spouse on board or your kids or anything to that sort. So now what I do is I say things like, hey babe, like what are some of your desires? What are some things that you're wanting? What are some things that you're wanting us to accomplish like as a family for this year? With me, I've realized that even if I plan out three, five, ten years from now, that's fine for me, but I no longer try to like force him into that as well. But he is good about seeing things like within the year to come. So that's helping. That took work and we still haven't perfected it, but we are, we're getting better. And then also I have goals for my business. Like I truly want to grow happily ever after. I wanna grow this brand. I, and then also when it comes to our family, like our kids, we sit down with them and we help them to dream. Where do you see yourself? Like what kind of student do you wanna be? Then I like to help them work backwards. Okay, what steps will it take for you to get there? What do you have to do in order to be this type of person? All right, so now I'd like to share with you guys my personal business and real estate goals for 2022. All right guys, so for my personal goals, the first goal is to release 60 pounds this year. My plan is to release 20 pounds within the first two quarters. And then during third quarter, approximately around 15 pounds. And then in fourth quarter, around the holidays and so forth, my goal is to release about 10 pounds. Now I know that comes up to like a little bit more than 60, and it also doesn't hit, put me on target to my 100 pound weight loss goal, but this is what I feel is realistic and definitely doable for me. If I pass this goal, amazing, but I definitely think this is a realistic goal for me. Next, my goal is to continue doing 10,000 steps per day, and I also plan to do five workouts per week. And that workout can include my daily walks. As far as strength training goes, I've realized that right now, 
in this weight loss journey one day per week is plenty for me because what i've noticed is happening which makes sense right like it makes sense that when you work out you will become sore but unfortunately the problem for me is that i'm at a point right now where i don't have that motivation to continue going after the soreness so i would like to work out five days a week with one of those being um a strength training day i could possibly increase this like halfway throughout the year but for now this is what we're doing my next goal is to either take one vacation or staycation per quarter i have fought this for a long time but i have to realize that i am a person that thrives being in a different location as far as creativity goes and just feeling inspired i need those breaks i am someone that whatever i'm doing i'm very dedicated to it and i give it my all so i feel that in order to continue doing that for myself, I do need the change of scenery. So I will be taking either one vacation or one staycation per quarter. So that's four times throughout the year at minimum. My next goal is to continue with monthly massages. This is something that I initiated last year and I started this around, I started doing this around May and it was going very well, but I slacked off in November and December and I'm definitely feeling it. And my final personal goal for 2022 is to attend at least one conference per quarter. This does not have to necessarily be a business related conference. It can just be something that's related to self growth, self improvement. It can be related to finances, just an area in which I can continue to grow as an individual. It could be related to marriage or parenting, but I definitely want to attend at least one conference per quarter so that I can continue growing as an individual. Next, my 2022 business goals. And when I'm saying business here, I'm referring to happily ever after living. So number one, I will build my brand and my community. This is something that I am so passionate about and I want to be able to share this with more people. With that being said, my goal is to three times my current subscriber count. So at the recording of this video, I'm currently at 669 subscribers. So that means I plan to be like 2,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. Y'all, <laughs> if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because I want to build my community. It's important to me. So that's something I'm going to focus on for, um, for this coming year. And part of the way in which I plan to do that is I will be uploading to YouTube a minimum of two to three times per week. So I, one of the things that I worked on last year was being more consistent. And I think I've kind of like proved to myself that I can totally do that. So with the consistency, my goal will be to upload two to three times a week. And lastly, I want to build a coaching business that is so fun and amazing. I don't buy into the fact that everything has to be hard work in order to be successful. I truly believe that I will be working with more women that just want to win in all areas. Women that have finally realized that, you know what, I deserve it. Women that have given their all to everything and everyone and they're finally ready to focus on themselves without the sacrifice in other areas. I want to work with women that have realized that, you know what, it doesn't make you selfish because you want to win in every area of life and that that is truly possible. That is truly possible to be your best self in your career. It's possible to have amazing health. It's possible for you to win with your money and it's possible for you to continue growing as an individual without taking anything away from anyone else. Like, y'all, listen, the link is in the description box. If you wanna book a session, let's talk. Book, let's chat. Okay, and finally, my 2022 real estate goals are, number one, I would like to add two more properties to my portfolio. My goal is to be work optional by the age of 55. That is 14 short years away. But my goal is to continue growing my real estate portfolio so that by the time I retire, that would be a way in which I can support myself and my family. Second goal for my real estate business, there's only three. My second goal is to create better systems, specifically focusing on automation. There has to be an easier way. I know there is. I've been learning about it through different podcasts. So we definitely want to automate more of our real estate business. And my third goal, as far as my real estate business goes, is I want to be more of a 
boss like more of a landlady versus being a pushover right now i definitely think that i i'm a pushover i know that i've accepted it and i'm working on it and in the next video that i'll upload after this one i'll link come back and link in here once i um upload it that is actually one of the things that i'm letting go of for 2022 in, in order to be the woman that i want to be the whole pe people pleasing just being a pushover yeah she died <laughs> she died in 2021 so yeah these are my personal goals business goals and real estate goals for 2022 I would love to hear some of your goals. Please leave me a comment. All right, guys. So what I've currently been doing is just sitting here. And so my goals for the month of January. And what I'll do is I'll go through and do each month for 2022. But for now, I'm focusing on January. And my goal is to upload 14 YouTube videos. Um four blog posts one speaking engagement and also to do two instagram posts per week now that i'm saying that to you guys my goal would be to post to my feed one time per week because two is a lot for now like eventually i hope to be able to grow that platform a little bit more but right now youtube truly is where my focus is so 14 youtube videos that's almost almost a video every other day that's a lot um considering the fact that i still work full time but i really enjoy interacting with you guys here on youtube as you saw in my business goal my goal is to 3x my current subscriber count for this year which that's a lot but i truly believe in myself and i really enjoy sharing with you guys on this platform so that's what we're doing um and i also put in for the month of january i want to do weigh in wednesdays so because i'm currently on vacation um i won't have a weigh in wednesday for tomorrow but moving forward three weigh in wednesdays for the month um and then on mondays i would like to either do meal prep mondays or money mondays because again my goal is to help women build their dream life in a body that they love on a budget that they can afford and so i like to talk about money a little bit into the channel not a whole lot but i do want to cover it because finances they just touch so many aspects of our life and it's hard to talk about building your dream life without talking about money so and then for fridays i would like to do what i'm considering to be like or calling fitness friday so we'll see how that goes like what i would like to do is some type of workout throughout the month i would like to focus on self-care saturday or self-care sunday and it's not just self-care i'm also considering self-development and any type of self-improvement to be a part of that section so i'm kind of excited actually i'm really excited <laughs> so this is my um calendar as far as my business goes um as far as happily ever after living goes this calendar i haven't even opened it yet because i'm actually gonna wait until i get home and on this calendar this is where i would track my workouts because i really want to look back and just kind of see what was working for me what wasn't working for me for the year of 2022 I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. I would love to hear down in the comment section, what is it that you're working on for 2022? You know, a lot of times the beginning of the year can be very overwhelming for a lot of people. I am definitely one that I don't, I'm not going to say that. Like I was about to say that I don't believe in New Year's resolutions, but honestly I do. But I also, it's a little bit deeper than that for me. I believe that any day can be your New Year's. You can decide at any time that you're ready to change, that you want a different life for yourself. It's up to you. If you are into the New Year's resolutions, I love to hear it down below. If you're not, if you just feel like, you know, another part of me too is I'm constantly creating goals for myself throughout the year. And maybe that's something that you do too. Like maybe you're just looking at it as kind of how I am. Like there's a few things that I'm still working on that I haven't achieved yet in my life. And I'm still kind of working on those things. So I didn't really put them down as New Year's resolutions. They're just something that I'm working on in life. So maybe you're that type of person where you're just constantly working on improving yourself. I think that is amazing. You don't have to wait until the turn of a calendar to do that. Or maybe you're the type of person that loves setting new goals, but you like to use January as kind of like a warm up, you know, fill it out, see how it is. 
Another thing too that you can do is just set intentions for the year. You don't have to necessarily sit down and say, this is what I'm gonna do. You can just set intentions for yourself of things that you would like to do and see how that goes. And I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. It kind of gives you an insight as to where my head is for 2022. It gives you an insight into some of my dreams, goals, and desires. If this is something that you would like to follow along with, be a part of, you know, this community, this is just the beginning, you guys. It really is. Like, we're going places. That's all I can say. We're definitely going places. So, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!